Have you ever heard of the Nephilim? These ancient beings of immense size and strength are mentioned in religious texts and mythologies around the world. Well, what if we told you that one man claims to have caught the Nephilim on camera? In this video, we'll delve into the story of Andrew Dawson and his chilling encounter with what he believes to be a real life giant. The Andy Capped TikTok page has many posts leading up to the giant saga, which are typical posts of his family, dog, and truck. On April 9th, he uploaded a video claiming to have captured a giant on top of a mountain in Jasper National Park. The video shows a person standing on the mountain, but Andy insists it is a giant due to its size from a distance, even with the zoomed in camera. Also, things are about to turn out to be more odd from now on. At this time, Andrew is making efforts to either return to the mountain or move closer to the location he recorded in order to video or locate whatever it is that he captured on his recording. This occurred three days after the initial video was uploaded to the website. Andy and his group were en route to their objective, looking for an area near to the mountain they were going towards. Once they found a suitable spot, Andy planned to set up his camera on a stable surface to avoid any complaints about instability while recording. He was well aware of how quickly negative feedback could spread on the internet. Their primary objective was to approach the mountain. Years had passed since that day, but Andy still vividly remembered their journey. As he moved toward the highest point, he saw that the object or entity that had been on top of the mountain was no longer there. It was clear that something had been present there before, although it was not a building. Despite this, the experience remained etched in his memory. As Andy recounted, he had spoken to several residents in the area who informed him of the intermittent occurrence of a phenomenon that intrigued him. The phenomenon appeared to be related to the story of the crazy man known as Yeti and the numerous civic establishments and sightings around the world where people claimed to have seen the creature walking in the forests. The supernatural element of it all piqued Andy's curiosity, leading him to wonder if this phenomenon had been around since the time of Genesis verse 4. He contemplated if it was possible for another kind of being to traverse our dimension, similar to extraterrestrial craft. He was keen on knowing where the supernatural comes into play in this matter, since he firmly believed it to be a global, otherworldly event. And he requested his audience to leave comments below to share their thoughts on what these animals are and where they may be coming from. In the following part of the story, Andy disclosed that he claimed to have had a collaboration with people from the CIA or another government agency. He further divulged that he had been followed and pursued by these agents, which added to the mystery surrounding the phenomenon. Andy was stopped by a group of CIA agents who cautioned him about illegally entering the property. He was thought to pivot by one of the agents and was reminded that it was a public region. Despite this, the agents accused him of trespassing and demanded him to leave the property immediately. And he was not able to capture the incident on video, but expressed his intention to try again the following day, being prepared to shoot as soon as the agent pulls over. Some people in the area had complained about the agent's truck, while others alleged environmental concerns. And he was unaware of these issues and could not comprehend why the road was closed off. He was advised by a local resident to go in a particular direction, which led him to encounter with the agents. Despite feeling awkward about the situation, Andy planned to return the next day to see if the agent was still present. He intended to keep his camera with him to capture any incidents that may occur, as the footage he had captured earlier did not show anything noteworthy. In any case, he stayed befuddled about why the street had been shut down and what he could do regarding the episode. On the 13th of April, which is presently four days after the underlying post, he distributes an image of what he guarantees is a UFO in the mountain range. It is difficult to determine from the clip. In 2017, there was a UFO sighting, and a video I made on it showed the same sort of little blob of what they call contrail just in the sky. This is by no means conclusive evidence, but there was also a UFO, and I recorded a video of it. I'll also be putting the movie up on the screen, as you can see. How very much this resembles that. On the 13th of April, he shared a video of what he said was some sort of clearing that was occurring. The soldier is attempting to get somewhere out of this place. There are really two helicopters here. What the hell? 
now there are two further CIA interactions that he claims to have had. I'm going to play these videos and after that the plot will take a very offbeat turn. The individual is present once again. Sure enough, this is the guy. What the heck is going on? The road is blocked. Please do a U-turn. Really? Yeah, dude. Please just turn over. Thank you. Okay, okay. I hope you have a nice evening, guy. Oh, I completely misunderstood it. He can be seen there. I'm driving by him again. Just completed the turn. Our stall and the reason why it's cordoned off in the first place. It might be a public park, a public road, or something else entirely. I believe that to be the identical car that he saw in the previous video that was undoubtedly the same event that took place in the mountains. It goes without saying that the entirety of that is pretty peculiar. But then, unfortunately and regrettably, a month and a half later on July 1st, 2022, a local newspaper, the Campbell River Mirror, wrote in the obituaries that Andrew Ryan Washhorn Dawson had regretfully departed away. This news came as a shock to everybody. It is clear that this is the same individual, and it nearly seems as though he is driving the same vehicle that he previously used. Yet, I find the whole thing to be quite peculiar. The fact that there are few occurrences of coincidences given the impression to me that this was not produced. The way that he has been posting for very nearly a whole year before he transferred this whole huge video, as well as the way that directly in the center of this too, this multitude of recordings are exploding and getting lots of perspectives, he simply quits posting. Then, at that point, returns a month after the fact, says it was faked, then at that point, after 10 days, says it's not phony, and he's really terrified. And afterward, to compound an already painful situation, he finished his experience a month and a half later by dying. I mean, at some point, repeated coincidences carry it to the point where it starts to look like it's not just fake, and there could be something more to this narrative. What I mean is that eventually, it begins to seem like it's not just bogus, and there may be other stuff going on. Two principal themes are being talked about in this entry. The first is the work of Dave Pilates and the missing 411 cases. The second is the connection between people going missing in national parks and something happening in the supernatural realm. While Andrew Dawson did not go missing, we believed that there is still a potential connection to be made. The circumstances surrounding his alleged encounter with the Nephilim and subsequent interactions with government agents are certainly unusual and could potentially be related to the mysterious disappearances that occur in national parks. It is unclear whether Andrew's claims were genuine or simply a hoax, but his death shortly after the incident raises further questions. Could he have stumbled upon something that was meant to remain hidden? Or was his experience simply a figment of his imagination? Regardless of the truth behind Andrew's story, it serves as a reminder of the many unsolved mysteries that exist in the world around us. From ancient legends to modern day disappearances, there are still many things that we do not understand. Maybe one day we will reveal the truth behind these secrets and gain a more profound comprehension of the world we live in.